so today I wanted to do a video for you guys. Um, it's a little bit uncategorized because I wanted to show you a couple things that I purchased and I also wanted to do a more in-depth review on two products and show you a dupe as well. Um, and also talk about a lip treatment that I've been using currently because I've been having some problems with my lips. So, um, it's a pretty uncategorized video as you guys will see. Um, so I will start off my video by showing you something that I bought. Um, so as you guys know, I've been VIB at Sephora for this coming year um, and they had a special offer that they emailed me which was 15% off of purchase for VIBs. Um, so I went there on the day where they had this little launch party um, which was the 29th of March. They were giving out um, the 15% discounts to the VIB and a friend and also um, there is an umbrella and goodie bag with purchase. So I went on that day, of course, because I wanted the goodie bag. So I went to Sephora and I picked up um, just a couple things, um, one for myself and one not for me. So I picked up the Naked One palette. Um, I do own this and I absolutely love this and I highly recommend this to um, anyone who loves makeup and who wants like a very easy to travel with palette and also an easy to do everyday palette without getting into a makeup rut. Um, so this was a product that I recommended to um, someone else and I picked it up for them. So I have noticed that there's been quite a price increase with this. Um, I remember when I picked it up probably at the end of last year. I picked it up at the US for $48 um, US and then the Sephora here during that time it was selling for $52 Canadian. Um, I picked this up the other day for $60 um, so as you can see there's been quite a price increase on these but I guess that's how supply and demand kind of works but still highly recommend this. Um, so something that I picked up for myself was the um, Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Eyeliner. So this is just in the color black um, and I swatched it here for you guys. So as you can see it's not as black as some um, eyeliners on the market will be but when you put this on and when it sets, this thing does not come off. It does not smudge and nothing takes it off except for like makeup remover pretty much. Um, and it is a little bit waterproof because I have tried running water across those and nothing happens. So um, as you guys know, I've been trying to find an eye pencil to tight line with um, just because I wanted that more, um, more intense effect for my eyes. Um, but so I decided to pick up this one to try because I have tried um, a bunch of drugstore brands which really didn't work because they faded too fast or that the um, tight lining would fall down I would have black stuff like all over my eye where I didn't want it. Um, I even picked up the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencils and from my previous videos you guys know that I do not like that pencil because it does not have any staying power um, not only on the tight line but also on the eyelid itself um, even with the Urban Decay Primer it did not stay on um, so that was really disappointing especially because that one was I believe $22 so that was a lot more than what I wanted to pay for for an eye pencil so I wanted to try this one because it claims to be waterproof and I did test it out in the store on my hand and I absolutely loved how nothing of this came off and um, so um, this one, I have tried tight lining with this and wearing this as an eyeliner in the last couple of days and I absolutely love it. So it lasts a really long time, more than any of the other pencils as a tight line. Um, it still comes out not as black as I wish it would be. I wish it would be just a tad bit blacker, um, but it lasts and lasts the entire day on your eyes um, as an eyeliner. So I am wearing that today. Um, I feel this is just as good as gel liners, um, it, but it's a little bit more softer. Um, so I would highly recommend this. This was $20, a little bit pricey. Again, I'm not a huge fan of um, sharpening pencils just because as you can see the tip is already not pointy and I'll have to sharpen it if I do want like a very precise um, eye line. But uh, for what it is and the way that the formula is, I highly recommend it. Um, so this was the goodie bag that I got and I wanted to share with what I got inside with you guys. So I didn't get the umbrella because by the time I went to Sephora they were actually sold out of all the, um, they were, um, they were sold out of like the supply of umbrellas that they had. I mean, I do live in Vancouver so I guess the umbrellas were a little bit more in high demand than the goodie bags. So there's a couple of items in here in the goodie bags and I haven't tried any of these products yet so I'm just going to show you what I got. So the first thing I got was the Sephora Full Action Extreme Effect Mascara. So on the back of this it says that it's a special brush that's a one dimensional brush that's supposed to lengthen and um, volumize 
define your lashes. So it's just a little mascara like this. Um, and it comes with a very traditional wand. Um, it's quite big, but not as big as like Dior Show or anything like that. And it's black. So I'm going to give this a try to see if it really does um, anything that it claims to be. So as you guys know, I'm really picky about mascara just because I have very hard to manage lashes. Um, if you guys do want, I will definitely do, I'll try these products and do a more in-depth review about these. But also I can show you what my, um, normal mascara routine is if you guys are interested as well. If you are, please leave a comment down below um, and I will definitely look into that. Um, another thing I got was another mascara and this is the Makeup Forever um, Smoky Lash Mascara. So this mascara actually claims to do a lot of things. It's supposed to be an extra black mascara that voluminizes, lengthens, and curls. So I have pretty high expectations from this one then. Um, it comes again with a more traditional brush, quite large as well. Um, and it's supposed to give you all three with just a stroke of this mascara. So we will definitely see about that claim. Um, so the next thing I got was the Givenchy Master Light. So it is in the color number four in Mr. Macaroon. And it's a Stilo Corrector Luminaire. So I assume this is quite similar to um, the Yves Saint Laurent one that I have not tried just because it's quite expensive. Um, so I will definitely give this a try and see how I like these type of products. Um, another thing I got was for my hair, and it's the Bumble and Bumble Thickening Shampoo and Conditioner Pack. So this is supposed to be for if you have fine hair that's limp, and it's supposed to help you get thicker, fuller hair, and also steel split ends and smooth away flyaways. So as you guys know, I do not have fine or limp hair, um, so I don't really need the thickening aspect of the shampoo, but I will definitely try it and see if it will steal my split ends and tame my flyaways because that's what I would expect out of this shampoo. Um, so that, the last thing I got with my kit is um, the Viva Le Juicy Perfume Sample and this is what the full bottle looks like and this is what I got. So it's just a little spray sampler size. Um, this is supposed to have wild berries, mandarin, honeysuckle, gardenia, um, jasmine, amber, caramel, vanilla, sandwood, and perlines in here. So I do really like Juicy Perfumes. Um, their entire collection I find smells quite nice, um, but it's actually still quite similar, like each different perfume that they come out with. Um, but I don't own any, and I wouldn't really buy any just because I feel like they smell nice on other people. Um, because they're still quite florally, but they have quite a musky undertone if you wear it for a while. Um, and I really don't like musk, as you guys know from my other videos. And I feel like even Viva La Juicy has, you can really smell that vanilla undertone and sandwich, so it makes the perfume really musky. I did try this yesterday. I sprayed it just one spritz on myself, and I really didn't like it. I ended up kind of giving myself a headache because it was a little bit too intense for me. Um, but, you know, this is. Some, this is something that some people like. I mean, I still love how it smells, just not on me. I might spray it like in a bag or something to give my bag a nice smell. Um, so another product that I picked up was the uh, OPI Nicki Minaj Collection Pink Friday. So as you guys know, I've been raving about how I need this product in my life, and I finally was able to get it. Um, a friend of mine helped me pick it up at a um, cosmetic wholesaler as well. Um, I just don't know which one, but it's still in my local area, and she picked this up for $5.50, so it's quite a good price, and I really wanted to try this. Um, I have to say that this is a really pretty color. It's kind of like a mid-tone pink. Um, it's very opaque, so what you see in the bottle is what you get with one, with one application, but I find that with this one, because it's so opaque and so matte, it's a little bit thick. Um, what I love about OPI nail lacquers is that they are really... Thin, and you can use them for a long time before they start drying out, um, which when you buy like drugstore nail lacquers, you don't, that doesn't happen. You kind of like halfway through the bottle and it's like super thick. Um, and this color here, I was a little bit disappointed with it because it's quite similar to a color that I already have. Um, not from OPI, but it's, uh, I guess it's like a dupe for it. So I thought this one was going to be a little bit different. I don't have it on my nails right now. Um, what I have right now on is OPI's Mod About You, which is like a very, uh, that I hauled about um, in my other video, but it's a very um, opaque light pale pink that's got really cool blue undertones, so it's kind of a pale pink that I absolutely love. This one is a little bit darker and a little bit warmer, um, but I do have it on my toes, and I will um, take pictures and post them on beautylish.com for my current manicure and also my current pedicure, so you guys can definitely go check that out. 
Um, so the dupe that I was talking about is the Revlon Top Speed Fast Drying Nail Emerald. This is in the ones with the silver handle. This is in the color 110 Pink Lingerie. So as you can see, even holding it side by side, the two colors are very, very similar. Um, the formula of this is actually very similar. It's, um, I have to say, I love the Revlon polishes. I love the color range. But the only problem I have with this is that um, it is a very opaque color, but it comes out a little bit thick. Um, I wish it was a little bit more thinner, so that's easier to apply because Jetstar polishes don't always have the best brushes. I still really love OPI and China Glaze brushes. They give you a little bit more control. Um, but these two colors are very similar. So if you do not have OPI in your local area that you can get like at a beauty supply store, um, you know, because these are like $10.99, $12.00 in retail price, which is way more than what I would ever want to pay for, for nail lacquers. Um, you know, you guys can definitely try out the Revlon um, Pink Lingerie because it will give you the exact same color. Now, I do love Revlon Pink Lingerie. I wear it all the time in the summer as a pedicure color because it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, so now I guess I just have more of it because it's really similar. Um, so another thing I wanted to show you guys was my lip treatment. So I've been having really chapped lips for some reason. Um, like chapped to a point where it actually hurts and it's bright red, like more oh, more pigmented than my natural lips are. Um, so I've been trying to use like lip balms and whatnot um, and going to sleep with them, but they really haven't helped, um, especially things like petroleum jelly based. Um, so like Kiehl's number one and Rosebud Salve and um, Vaseline, those petroleum jelly type substances just kind of stay on your lips. They do make your lips really soft when you wake up in the morning, but the, um, the jelly doesn't penetrate into your lips, but you don't get it as like soft lips for the entire day, you can have to reapply it once in a while to um, maintain the soft lips. So a friend of mine um, who's an esthetician suggested that what you can actually do is put on um, eye cream on your around your lip area to prevent premature um, wrinkling and also to give your lips moisture. So I have been doing that recently just because my lips have been that chopped. Um, so I've been using Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment. So I did buy this for my eyes. It has avocado in it. That's why it's green. I have um, pretty much used up this and I've used it for my eye, but I don't really like it for my eye because I find it a little bit too rich and I don't really lack moisture in my eyes. I'm more concerned about like wrinkles, puffiness, and dark circles. Um, but So this has been working pretty well for my lips. It's been keeping my lips um, smooth on the surface and also moisturizing my lips insides. Um, so I haven't been able to wear like lipstick or um, any kind of lip pencil on my lips just because you can completely see the ridges and how um, dry they are so that's not really good looking. So what I've been using is um, the combination of these two products here. So I've been using the MAC lip pencil, the Naked Liner, to um, which I've hauled about before and have a swatch on this as well. Um, this is just to nude out my lips um, so that I have more of like a concealer type lip on me and then I'll use the um, Revlon a lustrous, super lustrous um, gloss in pink pop. So as you can see, it's like a really bright magenta color, but I don't want it so bright on my lips because I feel like when you wear bright lips, you need to have really nice lips to pull it off. Um, and I don't have that currently, so I've been dabbing this on instead of smearing it on um, over the lip liner and mixing it in. And I feel like the color, like I have that on right now, and I feel like this color is more of a medium tone nudie pink, which has been working quite well. Um, I love how shiny this is because it hides the ridges and it makes my lips appear not to be as chapped as they are. So um, that's the lip combo that I've been using a lot of and I've been loving. So if you guys have been experiencing chapped lips, um, you know, make sure you get some lip gloss instead of lipstick or lip pencils to wear alone because you will definitely see the ridges in your lips and that's not something that you want. So um, that is all that I wanted to talk about with you guys today. So as you can see, very uncategorized video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and have a great weekend. I will talk to you soon. Bye.